I'm a part of that 99%. I want jobs to come back. You work hard and then you get down at the other end and instead of a dream, it's a nightmare. It's bigger than me and it's bigger than you. It's a, a worldwide phenomenon. We call it the Arab Spring. Well, no, it's the Inglewood Spring. Exxon Mobil has made billions of dollars in profit, yet ordinary people are suffering, losing their jobs, and facing cuts to public services. Local residents are showing support for the area's grocery store employees who are locked in a contract dispute with major supermarket chains. Several dozen people, as you see behind me here, have taken to the street in front of this Inglewood Ralphs, all in support of grocery workers who have authorized a strike. Now everyone out here wanting to make their voices heard. They're all here in support of the grocery workers who have been without a contract for the last three months. Now health care benefits remain the sticking point between the Albertsons, Ralphs, and Vaughn's chains and the United Food and Commercial Workers Union. I mean, you know, I want to thank the neighborhood for supporting us. We just don't want our benefits to be cut. But as you can see by all the people that turned out for this event, at least these folks are vowing that if those grocery workers do go on strike, they're saying that they will not be crossing the picket lines. I'm asking the script be flipped and asking what the country can do for me and the people in this room and this nation. Anger and frustration fill the Inglewood High Gymnasium during a meeting with California Congress members Maxine Waters, Laura Richardson, and Karen Bass. I'm working hard, payday to paycheck to paycheck, like most people in here. Thank God I'm healthy because the medical illness would bankrupt me. Three years ago I worked as an architect. The concern is growing. And now I have none of that. All I have with me today is my knapsack, is my home. You can't be intimidated. You can't be frightened. The Tea Party can go straight to hell. It's very important for the American dream. We want to keep that alive so people will have hope and have jobs where they can get the things that they need and take care of their family. A Senate vote on the $447 billion Jobs Act is set for tomorrow night. Its prospects for passage are uncertain. Downtown L.A. is back to normal tonight after today's confrontation between protesters and police. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly in the name of the people of Santa California and all those assembled at Fort Figueroa. Well, I'm on my way to heaven, we should not be moved. Well, I'm on my way to heaven, we shall not be moved. Just like the trees standing by the waterside, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved. Just like the tree standing by the waterside, we should not be moved. Good jobs, L.A. The 22 mostly unemployed representatives will join another 3,000 from around the nation in what's being billed, uh, take back the Capitol. If we didn't believe we couldn't make a difference, we wouldn't be doing this. You know, this is something that's grassroots. It's, it's all over America. This is our America, and we're really fighting to let Congress know that we're sick of it. And we we're here today to speak with Representative Gavin Lee from California, but when we got here, his door is locked. He has been in Congress for over 20 years. Um, he has never done anything significant. Merry Christmas, everybody. I, door's locked. Here. 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 Come on now. Okay. The guys. Have a great day. Okay, but again, I'm asking, can you personally give him that message? I'm sure he'll be in your presence sometime today. If I see him. Okay. Okay. I you on committees that represent the entire country, that make financial choices you that are not, matter right you, now. You are not a lobbyist. I'm
ustedes, compañeros. They're trying to use ICE to, to stop our community from organizing. But we work hard in this community. We work hard for this nation with papers and without papers. We are hard work.